So apparently esports is now going to be a thing at the Olympics. Pretty cool news, right? They could feature so many big titles like Valorant, Rocket League, CSGO, exercise bikes. Yeah, the game lineup isn't exactly what you'd expect from a big esports event. Like sure, having one random game would be kind of funny, I guess, but when you have seven of those Gran Turismo and chess, it becomes kind of ridiculous. Out of those nine, three of them are mobile games. Mobile gaming will be a mainstream esport now, everybody. Well, it already pretty much was, but I feel like most people still prefer not mobile games to be an esport, you know? So what are these three big mobile games? Maybe Free Fire, Clash Royale, Mobile Legends Bang Bang? Tic Tac Bow Virtual Regatta and Tennis Clash. Yay. Now let's not discredit these games just yet. Sure, I've never heard of a single one of these prior to the announcement of the Olympics esports series, but maybe the people behind all this found free phenomenal hidden gems that will revolutionize esports forever. Yeah, probably not. But hey, let's not judge a book by its cover and maybe instead by its music. People like this garbage? Okay, but jokes aside, let's just give all of these games a fair shot, starting with Tic Tac Bow. If you are paying close attention, you may have noticed that this is an archery game with Tic Tac Toe. So to all the literally everybody, good job I guess. So the way this game works is you play Tic Tac Toe with a bow. Crazy, right? But it gets deeper than that. If your opponent scores let's say a 7 and you shoot the same target but get a better shot, a 9 for instance, you'll claim that spot. This simple mechanic is like the whole meat of the game. So how do you expect me to commentate over this? Great! Damn, that was a clean shot. Takeover. Sheesh, I got that clean takeover though. Also, just like any mobile game these days, this game has the Clash Royale UI, so that's fun. Man, something about this game just feels very off. Like, the game isn't offensive to play, you know, but like, I'm trying to get a bullseye here and thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing with my life? And in the context of a professional esport game, it's even dumber. Like, sure, I can see myself popping off and starting to scream, oh yeah, baby, while watching the Olympics esports series and one player gets a 9 point shot and then the other player gets a bullseye takeover. That could be pretty hype, no doubt, but there are way more interesting games to choose from, you know what I mean? Also, the game's graphics feel like a decade old. This is some old school looking crap we got here. The UI animations are also pretty janky. Also, I can't be the only one that thinks having microtransactions in an esport game is a particular good idea, right? I really cannot come up with anything else to say about this game, so I'll just move on to Virtual Regatta Inshore. This is one of the two sailing games. I don't know if both of these games will actually be played at the Olympics since I couldn't find any clarification, but who cares, am I right? But anyway, when you boot up the game, you get blasted into this nice tutorial. Thank you, game. Very nice of you. Oh, Mion, really? I didn't know. So we finished the tutorial and oh my god, there's like nine more tutorials. I had no idea pressing two buttons on a screen was this complicated. So we get into the second tutorial and like, what is the circle? Well, I guess I'm just gonna ignore that. Huh, I failed. Let's try again then. Wait, why are there checkpoints this time? I swear to god they were not here previously. Then we go into tutorial number three placeholder. Damn, they really chose some banger games for the Olympics, didn't they? Okay, so I guess you can't aim directly at the wind, that's fun, I guess. Oh, goodness me, another placeholder. This game is really blowing me away with quality. Oh, damn, now there's a third button. We're getting really advanced. Also, just look at this beautiful animation. And the graphics, just top-notch visuals our two eyeballs are being blessed with right now. Okay, this placeholder joke is getting a little old now. Jesus Christ, why the hell is this so precise? Okay, lesson 6, the track of a regatta. Now we're getting some PvP action. This is the best game ever. What do you mean I didn't succeed? I didn't even hit him, bruh. What the hell is this reward? Finally, we can actually play the game now. Now this is what I'm waiting for, brother. Microphone? I don't know why, but sure, spy on me, please. And you have to register to participate in the championship. Awesome. I'm not doing that. Let's just try a quick challenge instead. What is even happening? Well, this game sucks. Yeah, I'm done with this. Now time for Virtual Regatta Offshore. Well, this game is a lot different from Inshore, I can tell you that much. Honestly, I don't think this will be in the Olympic Esports series, so I'm just gonna move over to the next game, which is Tennis Clash. How to hit balls. 
a great start. You know what, this is kind of fun actually. I like the controls a lot here, they feel pretty smooth and satisfying. The UI is also pretty clean here. It is the Clash Royale UI again, but like every mobile game uses it, so I think we should refer to this style of UIs as the really average 9x16 UI. Alright then, time to play. Gotta keep getting these goddamn outs. God, I wasted that. Wow, I suck. Never mind, bro. I'm clean with a dog. Michael just actually like, yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, there's absolutely nothing else to say here. The game is a. Uh, it's. It's just. Tennis! <laughs> Well, I guess the game is strangely similar to Tic Tac Bow. Think about it, both have very similar UIs, both have upgradable sports gear, both are sports games, and both are sports games that are going to be at the Olympic Seasports Series. I wonder if there's any conspiracy theory action we could pull off here with this knowledge. And that covers all of the mobile games that are going to be at the Olympics for some godforsaken reason. They're just kind of really average games with nothing going on. The games they picked are absolutely fascinating to me though. Like I get that they are trying to pick games that have realized sports equivalents, but just because I get it doesn't mean it's not stupid. I guess if I had to pick a favorite it would probably be Tennis Clash, cause Tic Tac Bow is kinda slow and virtual regatta just exists. I really do wonder how all of this will work out however, cause when these weird Olympic esports actually take place we're either gonna see people who decided to grant the games to death or absolutely nobody will bother and games will never appear at the Olympics ever again. I already can't wait for this catastrophe, but if you like things that aren't a catastrophe, then you should check out this video you see on screen right now. Also leave a like, subscribe and have a wonderful day.